Welcome to Spiritual Awakening Family. This is a short message to share that the key, the reasons, the whys, are so often about ourselves and not them. The twin flame path as we already said, is a journey back to the self. We've already spoken of finding oneself and the authentic self but we are now able to go further. It is about balance between the inner masculine and feminine, which I will sum up to make things very simple and straightforward between the essence of the self, the soul, the heart, the core and its goals, wishes and desires and the possibility of a physical, tangible, functioning and powerful. I'll detail more about this word below, life in the actual world we are living in from this soul self. It is all about finding, in time, through experiences, tests and self-discovery, the how we create a life from the truth. If I go back to my own experience, I'm seeing that I never was both and at the same time in truth and power with my twin flame since we met. Either and at the beginning I wasn't he in truth in another relationship, in jobs I didn't really like, in a way of life that didn't match my heart, or I wasn't in my power meaning I was writing, sharing with people, trying to help children in Asia, to volunteer all over the place, so I was in complete truth of the heart and sweetness but I had no physicality, I was traveling with no home, I didn't know at all what I would become, where I'd go next what my role in this world or geographical position could be. In twin flame relationships, truth of the self is paramount and we all know how much such encounter triggers an immense remembering for both and falling down in time of the 3D personas. It causes a desire to be with true love, to live unconditional love, to love the essence of someone and also to be individually in complete commitment to the real passion, drive anthem of the heart which is oftentimes being a light in whichever way, spiritual classification or not, for people like us. However we forget to mention the power part. Interestingly, I'm not speaking here of force or a dominant energy which needs to be better or taller than. I'm not speaking either of the ego drive which actually comes from a place of being seen, approved witnessed by others. I'm not saying that twin flames need to be successful in the outside world to come together if that makes sense to you. I'm rather simply speaking of the ability to live in a world and have a role in it, a role that brings joy, fulfillment, goals, abundance, actions, change, beauty. Being in one's power is important in twin flame relationships because the intensity of the connection is such that we may not be able to withstand it as long as we are not fully comfortable with ourselves. And being comfortable with oneself is truth, but also physicality which leads me to offer that the intensity of such a bond is actually possible to experience in a relationship when both individuals have managed to create a physicality a tangibility for their life from their truth, callings, true desires. Again, this takes us to the integration of the masculine and feminine part of each of us. What we want, is to able both to feel our heart warm and happy when we think of what we are doing in our lives and when we share that with them, to feel that big yes within and to feel our energy bright and strong as well, like yes and this is my life now. I'm living life based on this. We could remember this very simple sentence, which is we are called to go to them, almost magnetically, as I feel now, if I may share with you, when we feel fully comfortable with ourselves. Interestingly I'm reminded that each time we gather, him and I are at a different space in our lives. We always meet as different versions and each time it is by seeing him or telling him where I am at that I feel where I'm still missing something, would it be a soul lie or a physical impossibility? Imagine they are sitting right in front of you, and you share where you are at now in your life. How are you fully comfortable with ourselves when saying this if not? What is the missing piece and how could we work from there? We think we feel called to go to them when they are in a high energy space. But this is not just about that, it is also when we are in light, in truth, in power, in alignment with all of our parts. Yes, 
it is so often about ourselves rather than them, actually. Much love. I hope you like the video, welcome to your channel, don't forget to check out the other upload.